Hey friends, welcome. It's Jessie. So glad that you have joined me today. We are talking about summer fragrances, specifically my top 10 that I am most excited about wearing this summer. Yeah. So put them in the comments below. If you have a fragrance that you're like, I didn't want to wear this fall, summer or fall, winter, but now I'm pulling it out. I feel like Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue is going to come out full blast just because it's so popular. But I've got some unique, some fragrances that you may not have heard of. You may have heard of them. If you are a fragrance collector like me, then you've probably heard of most all of these, but I have got a stellar list. Sometimes I'm more excited about fall winter than I am spring summer, but this year I'm kind of like ready. I'm ready for summer fragrances. So as always, please click that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers and all of you guys who are here. Drop me your scent of the day. I want to know what are we wearing? What are we loving? all the things. So let's go into this. Sometimes I just do like a top list and I don't number them. These I'm so excited about, I have them numbered. So I will be going from 10 down to my number one that I'm most excited about. I probably have more than two or 300 fragrances in my collection. Honestly, I've never sat down and counted them because it makes me nervous. <laughs> Um, so when I say these are top 10 for summer, like this is genuinely, this is not just like top 10 out of 20 or top 10 out of 30. This is top 10 out of a lot of fragrances. These are the ones that I'm most excited about. And some of these are not necessarily the most expensive fragrances in my collection. So I like to share a wide variety of price ranges with you guys. Um, I'm not a super big fan of like body mists in summer because I feel like a lot of those are very gourmand and they're real heavy at first and then they just die. Um, is there a summer body mist that you love? I love the Sol de Janeiro products. So I will wear like the body cream, the bum bum cream and all that stuff, but I'm not a big body mist person in the summer per se. Anyway, number 10 is one of my longtime favorites. This is Mongerlon. This is the original Mongerlon. Uh, I have the intense version. I like it. It's way too heavy for summer way too heavy for summer. So this is a fragrance that I, when I first started my YouTube channel, like this was top 10 for life. Like I love this fragrance. It probably honestly will forever be in my collection. This is at least my second bottle, maybe my third. This is the one with the gold cap. They have different ones. The silver cap is the Eau de Toilette. The like dark, almost coppery red um, is the intense version. So make sure you know which version you are getting. This is the light pink juice. Anyway, so good, so beautiful. You can wear this all the time, year round, like signature scent worthy fragrance that you can really get at a pretty decent discount if you look. So always Google the fragrance that you are looking for. Make sure that it's a reputable retailer, obviously, but yeah, you can find this at a pretty good cost, like value. I always try to do value. The longevity on this is great. I have a full fragrance review on it. Check it out. My number 10 spot, Mongerlon by Guerlain. All right, number nine, a fragrance that I've already started pulling out some because I love it so much. This is Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. I probably will be repurchasing a bottle of this by the end of summer. I have already been like loud and proud with this one got a compliment on it the other day. It's beautiful. This is a fragrance that some people pick up a pickle note in it. I do not. I mean, I might ever so slightly get some little bit of pickle, but it doesn't, it doesn't smell like that on me. And so that's why you really need to test this one out. Spray it on the back of your hand, walk around the mall, smell it in 15 to 30 minutes, say, hey, do I still love this? Or hey, does this smell funky on my skin? Because the all perfumes react differently with all of our body chemistries, whether we're hot or we're cold or our skin is clean or we've already got, you know, some type of moisturizer on it. So always test your fragrances out on your skin. That is like the most important thing that I will ever say on my YouTube channel, I think. Okay, so Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc, coming in at the number nine spot, a gorgeous fragrance that I'm excited to wear for summer. Next up is one that kind of blew up and I haven't heard anybody talking about it lately. That is Fragrance Dubois Eau June Intense. They have released some stellar new fragrances, but as far as summer goes, like this is it. This came out maybe three years ago-ish. Um, I also picked up one of the other ones. Oh, Oud Orange Intense. I bought that, I wasn't as crazy about it. Um, yeah. 
I've got some declutter videos coming up. I'm, I'm decluttering. I'm, I'm trying to simplify a little bit. But anyway, uh, Fragrance Du Bois, Ujun Intense, a gorgeous fragrance for summer. It's got tiare flower in it, frangipani. Like, it smells like you just stepped off of an airplane in Hawaii and you're like smelling a fresh bouquet of Hawaiian flowers. It's so good. So, Ujun Intense at the number eight spot. I'm sorry, I'm trying to like count all my fragrances around me. Coming in at the number seven spot is one that I haven't talked about in a while because it is a lighter fragrance, but it is if you love tube rose, this is called Love Tube Rose by Amouage. It is a beautiful fragrance. Like, oh my gosh, I could just drink this. It's so good. I wonder if they make like tube rose cocktails. Anyway, um, I love the packaging. I love the cap. I love the fragrance. I wore this last week. It's a beautiful fragrance. I am dying to wear this in summer. This really is a fragrance that you can wear year round, but I'm just vibing with it. And maybe it's because it's in the white bottle and all of the things, but I love this fragrance. And if you like tube rose and you have not smelled this, you need to get your nose on this fragrance. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, in the number six spot is a replica fragrance probably not the one you're thinking. This is Matcha Meditation. I bought the smaller bottle. I blind bought it. Now I wish I'd bought the bigger bottle. This is a gorgeous fragrance. It is a little bit lighter, but it is a little bit warmer. Like it's a really round fragrance. I love their fragrance bubble bath, but it just smells like bubble bath. This one is a more complex fragrance, matcha meditation. Um, it's the green juice. I think that this is only available. I want to say it like Nordstrom's or Macy's. That's why I had to blind buy it. I just bought it online. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance, but if you're wanting something a little bit more gourmand for summer, but not like Tom Ford Black Orchid, like something like super hyper over the top gourmand, then Matcha Meditation may be the fragrance for you this summer. So Matcha Meditation by Maison Margiela, the replica collection, I guess is what we'll call it. All right, we are now entering the top five, I guess that's 10, top five fragrances that I'm most excited about wearing this summer. So in the number five spot is Killian's Straight to Heaven. I wear this year round, I will admit it. I love this fragrance. It's so amazing, but, and it's unisex. So guys, if you're watching this and maybe you're thinking, I wanna buy my wife a perfume or something, buy this for yourself and then share it with her. <laughs> um, Straight to Heaven is just a gorgeous, like clean fragrance, but not like soapy clean. Don't get me wrong. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Anyway, I love this fragrance. I think it's great for spring, summer, but I really love it in the summertime because when it is hot, hot, hot and you want to smell nice, but you don't want to smell like sticky, like really gourmand. I'm dripping with cookies and icing for my fragrance. Then Straight to Heaven is a great one. You will definitely want to smell this if you're a lady who likes florals because this is not it. Like this is not like sweet fruity floral this is woody but it's fresh if that makes sense anyway straight to heaven by killian i love it anyway i move on all right number four in the number four spot is clean reserve skin i have a full fragrance review on this it's actually one of my most watched videos on my channel um this fragrance is just amazing i've had this for a year and I don't wear it a ton in the fall winter. This does have a gourmand touch to it, but it is really nice in spring, summer. And you get this huge bottle. I picked this up at Sephora, like I said, I think last spring, and I have just loved it ever since. Um, it's called Skin Reserve Blend, and it's a floral musk. So if you like um, Resendo Matu number no. five, you would probably really like skin by clean reserve so that is in the number four spot in the number three spot is a fragrance if you've watched my channel for any amount of time you know that i love this fragrance but you also know that i haven't talked about it in a while that's valentino donna born in roma yellow dream longest name ever i think i say that every time but it really is the longest name ever for a perfume this is the yellow juice so if you like donna born in roma in the pink juice and i know that they just came out with an intense version okay if you've smelled the intense version please drop me a comment below and let me know what does it smell like i've read reviews i haven't been by to smell it honestly i've been testing so many fragrances like that i have samples of at home that I haven't got ventured out to the stores lately to see what's new. Um, this one has a cap. 
and it is lemon, rose, and musk. And you guys, if you are not crazy about rose fragrances, because I know that rose fragrances can kind of be a little bit polarizing, like this is a very modern rose fragrance. Um, I'm just so pumped to wear this this summer. It's gorgeous. Like this would be great at the office. This would be great date night. This would be great at the pool. Like anywhere you can think of to go. Yellow Dream is your girl. It is so good. That's why it is in the number three spot out of all of my fragrances in my collection. It's in the number three spot for summer. So that is Yellow Dream by Valentino. We'll just call it Yellow Dream to keep it simple. Number one and number two spot. I put them there because I have not worn them. I don't think I may have worn one of them this winter, but I really haven't reached for them because they are lighter fragrances and they are so good in the like high heat of summer. So in the number two spot is Maze and Francis Kirkjohn Low a la Rose. I did a rose video where I kind of ranked my top rose fragrances and this made the list. There are a lot of good fragrances on that list, but this is the rose fragrance that I'm excited about wearing this summer. It's fresh. It's like, oh, it's just such a fresh, clean rose fragrance. Like I won't be wearing Initio's Atomic Rose this summer. Um, there are just some fragrances that I can't wear in the summer. It just gets too hot where we live. And this is a stunner. This, I mean, you could wear this year round for sure. Low Ola Rose. It is, oh my gosh. Like I, I love I love this fragrance. I love this fragrance. And I, it's weird because like, um, I just, my number three was Yellow Dream by Valentino. And it is also a rose fragrance, but I wouldn't categorize it as a rose fragrance because it's not like hyper rose where this, you're going to smell it. And it is a really modern rose fragrance. So Low a la Rose by Maison Francis Kirkjohn in my number two spot for summer. I'm so excited to wear it. Okay. And in my number one spot, a lighter fragrance that I really, I've worn this, I think one time this winter, and I'm just about ready to blast it out for summer. That is Gran Balo in the Casamirati line by Zerzhov. It's sweet, but it's, I don't know. I just don't pull for this in the winter because it's not a beast. And so I kind of save it more for spring, summer. It's so pretty. I'm going to spray it too. I'm going to have all this perfume. Anyway, it's just fresh and light and sweet and it's just the perfect summer fragrance. If you have a birthday in the summer or you have like an anniversary in the summer or something, I mean, look at the bottle. I love these bottles. Anyway, it's got berries and mandarin, but it's not over the top berry. So that's probably why I like it. It has honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, amber, caramel, vanilla, and sandalwood. I actually broke a bottle of sandalwood this weekend. My whole essential oil like collection fell off the wall and only one bottle broke and it was sandalwood and now my bathroom smells so good. I'm like, if all the bottles that could have broken, like I have some funky smelling, uh, essential oils that you know work wonders for certain things but they're not fragrances that i'm like dying to have on me all the time sorry there was some weird high-pitched noise um anyway grand ballo by zerzhov is a beautiful fragrance people talk about italica all the things i have lots of zerzhovs in my collection honestly i need to rank them but this is a beautiful fragrance i love it you should get your nose on it it's been around for a minute but i'm really pumped to wear this for summer thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe drop me your fragrances that you're excited about wearing for summer are you one of those people that wears the same perfume all year round if you are drop that in the comment section below i want to know what's going on with all of our like perfume collections currently do you have one bottle do you have 10 bottles do you have 100 bottles do you have a thousand bottles drop in the comment section below i will chat with you down there and uh thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell smell you later